Welcome to Book Talking My Book Show with Miss Andrea. And April is National Poetry Month. So I'm going to read you some poems. Edgar Allan Poe is one of my favorite. His star stuff is a little darker, but I enjoy that. Um, and some of the history behind him is a lot of people he knew in his life ended up dying from tuberculosis, which was very common back when he was alive. So the first one I'm gonna read you is actually about his mother-in-law, because I believe his first wife died of tuberculosis and so did his mother. So his mother-in-law kind of stepped in and took over that role for him. So it's called To My Mother, and it was written in July of 1849. So, To My Mother. Because I feel that in the heavens above, the angels whispering to one another, confined among their burning terms of love, none so devotional as that of mother. Therefore, by that sweet name, I have long have called you, you who are more than mother unto me, and fill my heart of hearts where death installed you, and setting my Virginia spirit free. My mother, my own mother, who died early, was but the mother of myself. But you are mother to the one I love so dearly, and thus are dearer than the mother I knew. By that infinity with which my wife was dearer to my soul than its soul life. So that one's kind of sad, but I really like it. This is one you guys probably all know. It's Annabelle Lee. And I recommend for you guys, um, Read a poem out loud. You know what? It's better sometimes hearing it out loud than just reading it on paper. So, Anna Belby. It was many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Anna Belby. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabelle Lee. With a love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that, long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee. So that her high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me, to shut her up in a sepulchre in this kingdom by the sea. The angels not half so happy in heaven when envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we. And neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide I lay down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride, in her sepulcher there by the sea in her tomb by the sounding sea. And that was written in October of 1849. So I have one more short one to read to you. Let me find it. Again, another favorite of mine. These are my three most favorite, but I like a lot of this stuff. So this one's shorter. A dream within a dream. Take this kiss upon thy brow, and in parting from you now. Thus much let me avow. You are not wrong to deem that my days have been a dream. Yet if hope has flown away, in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. I stand amid the roar of a surf-tormented shore, and I hold within my hand grains of the golden sand. How few, yet how they creep through my fingers to the deep, while I weep, while I weep. Oh God, can I not grasp them with a tighter clasp? 
O oh God, can I not save one from the pitiless wave? Is all that we see or see but a dream within a dream? And that was also 1849. All right, that's what I'm going to read for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These are three of my favorite, and it's Edgar Allan Poe. Have a good day.